Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be filming this in kind of a vlog style because what we're doing is kind of completely overhauling my vanity area. So when we moved, I had this vision in my head of like that typical, you know, beauty guru <laughs> desk with the tabletop from Ikea and the two Alex drawers, right? So I had one set of Alex drawers already and I really just wanted to make that full tabletop set once we moved. The Alex drawers, I think, are being discontinued, which rest in peace like there's such a huge part of like beauty youtube or those alex stores so they were on sale and for the last six months they've been sold out just like both ikeas in new jersey did not have them Ugh. so they're finally in stock and we finally just got back from ikea and i'm going to show you what we're going to start doing over in the vanity area so this is how we are starting. I have a bookshelf here for storage on the outside along with a little mini bookshelf on top. This is kind of my backdrop and what we're going to do is really change this. So this is where I sit, this is where I do my makeup, this is where I film, and I already have a set of Alex drawers here. But what we have here is like a regular desk and it doesn't go on top of the Alex drawers. So what we did is we bought a plain tabletop so it'll go on top of the Alex drawers. So we're gonna have that there. And then the second set of Alex drawers we're gonna build and put right here. And then hopefully I can actually put all the stuff in the acrylics here in that new set of drawers. Because what I really wanna do is I love the way this wall is set up. I wanna move my everyday makeup basket from there to here against the wall. So it'll be a nice way I can film and then everything will be right there to my left. So yeah, so we just got back from Ikea. We bought everything that we're gonna need. So I think we're gonna get changed, take a quick break, and we're gonna start building the first set of Alex drawers. Oh my god guys look we're halfway done i'm gonna ignore this side of the room over here because it's just everything's piled up there for now but let me show you what the desk looks like so far okay so we have the tabletop set up and then we've got my old set of alex drawers and the new set of alex drawers i still have to do the drawers themselves but we wanted to measure out you know how far out the desk was going to come you know where the tabletop was actually going to be and where we're going to move my other bookshelf to fit flush up against so originally to connect the actual um, Alex drawers to the desktop, I was gonna just use command strips like on the corners, um, but we thought my, it might not look flush enough. So Alvin had the idea to use this kind of like kitchen liner material just underneath just to keep it from moving. And it actually works really well, but all we have left are like these scraps. So he actually just ran to Bed Bath & Beyond to pick up another couple of rolls of this stuff so we can line this and then like our windowsill where our plants are. 
And while he's gone, I am going to get started on the drawers. And that's the mess over on the other side of the room. <laughs> Rex has been supervising the whole time and he is not happy that we are not playing fetch with him on top of the drawers. Sad boy. <sighs> so since my knees are hurting me a little bit, I am getting older. I'm gonna start putting the drawers together on top of the kitchen table. I'm gonna pour myself a nice glass of wine. It is about four o'clock on Friday. It's been a long ass week. We've got a holiday weekend coming up and I'm ready to chill out and I'm excited to get this finished so I can start reorganizing everything. So that's the plan. Cheers. Hello guys, so it's the next day. Everything is put together and I'm excited to start organizing. So let me show you what we're working with first. Okay, so we have our drawers here. I've actually got the umbrella lights on to give us a nice amount of work because today it's just, it's raining, it's miserable, it's messy. I've got a couple of organizers already in the drawers right now. Um, but let me show you how, how I'm kind of already planning this out. So I started just by kind of uh, drafting out, you know, each drawer. So there's five drawers on the left and five drawers on the right. Just a basic outline of what I'm thinking I'm gonna put in each. So on the left side, I'm thinking primer and setting sprays in drawer one, bronzer and blush in drawer two. Um, I just realized I'm gonna have to push this down because I need highlighters. So I think lipsticks and lip liners are gonna get pushed to flashes and then highlighters are gonna go there or lipsticks will get pushed over to this side. I'm actually thinking lipsticks might be on this side, so we might do that there. Um, then lashes, and then I'm leaving the two bottom on both sides open just for eyeshadow, because I really wanted to organize my eyeshadow palette collection a bit better, because they're all just shoved into the bookshelf right now. And then for the rest of the right side, I'm thinking foundations, concealer, and powder in the top drawer, single shadows, eyeliners, um, liquid shadows in the second. We probably put the lipsticks over there, um, face palettes in the fourth drawer, and then that last drawer for eyeshadow. This isn't going to be the final <laughs> layout by any means, um, but I thought it would be a good place to just kind of start because my ultimate goal is to take everything that we currently have in, well not everything, but most of what we currently have in these acrylic drawers and move it to an Alex drawer. Because what I would like to do is use these acrylic drawers, I'm thinking this one for nail polish, because I've got my nail polish all shoved into these two and it's just not enough room. So I want to use this for nail polish and I'm thinking this for like brushes and tools and miscellaneous stuff and then I want to move these over to my big bookshelf so that they're off of here because this is the location where I want to put my everyday makeup basket because I think it would just look really nice here and I feel better about it being like up against the wall too. So I'm listening to a podcast. This is the Lights Out podcast, one of my favorites, and I'm just going to set the camera up and we'll start reorganizing.
Whew. So after a couple of hours, oh, we're focused. Here we go. <laughs> so after a couple of hours of work, I think I've got everything set up the way that I want it to be, at least for now. So let me give you a quick tour. Okay, so here's the new setup. The top now just has so much more room. It's just, it's awesome. I've exactly what I wanted. I actually set up one of the acrylic drawers to be on this side of the bookshelf so I can reach it from this side. And here's where I'm gonna keep all of my electronics for like editing and whatnot. So that's perfect. And then over here, now I have my everyday makeup basket and my brushes to the side, which is perfect. Because now it'll be better for me to fill my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash from here. And I think it just looks really nice. And it gives me a lot more room on the actual tabletop. So really like how that turned out. Before we get into the drawers, let me just show you the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. I really wanted this to be more of a display piece and less of just like total storage. So I just kind of picked random palettes to put in here at first. Bottom shelf is more storage. Middle shelf is kind of like my favorite palettes. Top shelf is some more favorites, and then I like to display my past pan that palettes. And then up here is kind of the same. I think I'm going to rearrange some of these decorations soon. I mean, I've got some other cute headbands I could display. I also have this stuff. I'm thinking of maybe switching this, like, over to here and moving some of these over there. Um, so, yeah, but that's going to come soon. But for now, I just kind of left it alone. Let's move into the left side Alex drawers. Drawer number one is just primers and setting sprays. And then I've got like Q-tips, my color switch, and some poof poofs. Drawer number two is just bronzers. So individual bronzers and contours are right here. And then the rest of the drawer is blushes. Drawer number three, this is just highlighters. Highlighters and then some empty palettes over there, but this is just mainly highlighters and highlighter palettes. For drawer number four, this isn't like the way I kind of want it, but this is gonna be good for now because I also know I'm getting more lashes in PR, but these are all my lashes. I've got lash glue and then also here, I just kind of have backups for mascara and brow gel that I have, just not opened yet. And then this bottom shelf, I have just like a mishmash of eyeshadow palettes. I really want to go through and figure out a better organization system for these. But for now, these are the ones that I have in here. And then here are some smaller palettes back there. Yeah, this isn't 100% perfect. Um, but these are the ones that I would rather have in the drawer than on the bookshelf. Moving over to our new Alex drawers. So over here... I really like how this came out. So this top drawer is all foundations, concealers, and powders. So I have foundations, concealers, these are um, mostly pressed powders, and then these are mostly loose powders. Drawer number two is single eyeshadows, liners, and then liquid eyeshadows. And I also really like how this came out, but I do think I need to declutter. I am in, I'm a, I am in need of a really good declutter, especially eyeshadow palettes and eyeliners. Um, so that is gonna be coming soon. <laughs> Drawer number three is lipsticks, and to be honest, again, this isn't 100% how I want it to be. I kept it in their categories, so like black lipsticks, nude lipsticks, red lipsticks. The nude adjacent slash other colors is a much bigger category, so I think I'm going to have to switch those with what I have over here, which are glosses and green lipsticks and then lip liners. So this is a work in progress. I think I'm going to get a different insert for this drawer instead of just using this one. Drawer number four are my face palettes, and honestly, I'm happy with the way I have it organized. I really just moved it from the left side to the right side. And last but not least, this is the other eyeshadow palette shelf. I want to get some more little organizers for the tiny eyeshadow palettes that I have. Um, and then I think the back here, I'm going to put like extra brushes and some other miscellaneous storage. All right, and that is everything for now. Thank you guys for watching. I am so much happier with all the room that I have and with how much just nicer this looks. It looks so much more like put together, <laughs> right? I'm really excited to work here, to film here, and to play with more makeup. So of course, this is going to evolve as I do makeup and as I reorganize things. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for my Shop My Stashes. I do those monthly and I go through my whole collection when I do those. So if there's any changes to my organization, you'll see them there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.